Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. This is where I air my views and show you what it's like living in France from my perspective. I will cover do-it-yourself projects and garden management. Just remember, this is just a bit of fun. So let's begin. Yeah, this is crazy. Good morning. Dave Star is in France. Traveling to our other place that we're renovating. Um, the traffic is ridiculous. Uh, it's been abysmal weather, as you can see. Oh, just plunk you there. And you can see what's going on. It's, uh, it did forecast snow. But, um, as you can see, it's driving rain. Uh, and it's the wet stuff. The real wet stuff. But this is, uh, this is ri ridiculous. Ridiculous. Anyway, um, so I checked my YouTube channel last night. I've uploaded uh, another video um, from yesterday. Oh, I was knackered last night. All that cooking wipes it out of you. Joking aside, no, it was the physical exertion of the gardening. I haven't uh, done much gardening since uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, November. And I felt it. I felt it this morning. But, uh, so, I was going to say something then, and I forgot what I was going to say. So, yes, it's been driving rain. It was minus two yesterday, and now it's 12, 13 degrees. 13 degrees and pissing it down. And I, I just, I despair with this traffic. It's only because the, the bridge going into Shanjay on the other side, they're closing, they've closed for um, upgrade work. So we're having to, I'm having to go around it by using the, the main roads. And um, this is a pinch point here because just past this roundabout up here, you've got a, a bridge called the Pont Pritz. And um, it's a known bottleneck because it, it's single lane and you get these people on the outside, a lot of these people on this outside lane try to jump the queue by hitting the roundabout and then indicating right it's it's a French thing and it happens all the time um, so uh, you've just got to be careful because you'll get people trying to jump into this lane and, and stuff like that because everyone's on their own agenda, I guess. So, yes, sorry, yes, I was going back to my YouTube channel last night and I've got 64 subscribers. How cool is that? I'm over the moon. I don't know why. Um, it could be the little short I put out with uh, regarding the BitLocker encryption for Microsoft that's had quite a few hits uh, but again it's well worth looking at uh, because I was explaining to um, a couple yesterday and uh, and they, they, they do a lot of online work and they had never heard of BitLocker encryption and I said if you've got Windows 10 upwards it's highly likely it's on your computer or laptop so be aware find the encryption key there's plenty of plenty of resources online to show you how to find your encryption key and uh, store it store it in your wallet or somewhere in your important paperwork or a, a, a flash drive via a notepad or something um, and keep safe or 
don't do a BIOS upgrade. As <laughs> simple as that. Or if it comes from the manufacturer, I'll be saying that you have to give them authority to upgrade the BIOS. So just don't install the upgrade the BIOS if it comes through. It's as simple as that. Oh, this is driving me around a bend. I've got stuff to do. I'm not doing sanding today because I'm aching too much uh, with the wrist. With all that trying to trying to pull the bloody hedge trimmer. Start it yesterday. I was cursing myself over that. All them pulls and the bloody on switch was off. I should have checked. No wonder my right pectorals a bit taut today. So yeah, today I'm just going to uh, do some minor plasterboard work uh, in the little bedroom and bathroom that we've created downstairs in this place uh, it, it's it won't be the finished thing because I need some angle bead um, to sort out the edges and uh, angle bead I can't believe how expensive that is over here it's about 20 euros a strip I mean in the UK I mean I'm going back 20 years I suppose it was what three quid I don't know what it is in the UK anymore, but angle bead, crazy prices. Um, so I've got to do that. Um, I was thinking of doing some skimming today, but I think I might skip that. I've only got a bit on the ceiling in, in the lounge area where I need to uh, sand. Um, but oh, I tell you, it, it, it wipes it out of you because you're pushing upwards. And I've got this weak wrist, which I've explained before. It's, it's, it's a damaged wrist. Wrist. It's been damaged for 20 odd years, 23 years, 24 years. Uh, coming August, wasn't set correctly in the first place. I can understand that because they were just concerned on trying to save my life at the time, and uh, yeah, you know, that's I've explained to you, to you in my videos, uh, prior videos. I think I explained it in um, in the orchard when I was uh, picking up the fallen apples. Have a look at that video. If I remember, I'll put a link in. So, yeah, oh, come on, please. You would think everyone's at lunch. They have two and a half hour lunch breaks here. But no, unless they're all going home for lunch. No. I just, uh, uh, on YouTube yesterday, I did see, um, a guy who was driving a, a Mercedes e Vito, the new electric e Vito, and uh, oh, I, if you do a search on that, uh, it's it's hilarious. He slates it, absolutely slates it, and then he 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 goes all ballistic on the on the video part two. Yeah, I, uh, it was hilarious. Who would buy an EV? I mean, it's not the right time to buy an EV. EV means electric vehicle, by the way, uh, if you didn't know already. But, uh, no, I, I, hybrid, yeah. Consider a hybrid, yeah, but not full electric. I mean, it's just... It's the anxiety. It would, it would, it would send me crazy. Absolutely send me crazy. But yeah, he he goes uh, absolute ape shit. It is very very funny. 
Um, so not a good advertisement for Mercedes. Come on, Kia, stop looking at your phone. Oh, that's another thing here. A lot of people tend to um, uh, text and uh, and do everything on their phone whilst driving. It's um, it, it, I, I have no idea why. <laughs> it's just downright dangerous. Um, that's why my phone's in my pocket while I'm driving. It's I've got Bluetooth connected, so if someone wants to call me. I can just speak to them via the infotainment system on my van. But yeah, you'll find that, oh, and tailgating. So people are on their phones, oh, that one's on the phone, just there. BMW driver, they don't change anyway. The worst, one of the worst drivers out there. So, uh, yeah, tailgating, that's a big issue in France. Well, I say it's a big issue. Everyone seems to get on with it fine. Me, I don't like it. It, uh, it's, um, puts pressure on, on the driver if you're being tailgated. If you look in your mirrors and you've got someone up your backside, it's like, what's going on there? If I break, you crash, your fault. It doesn't matter. If people over here don't worry about it. So I tend to, uh, when I'm driving along nowadays, I tend to not look so much in my rear view mirrors unless I'm on a roundabout. Um, so, and that um, takes the anxiety away from me. Be mad, isn't it? We're nearly there, nearly there at Pont de Pritz. So I don't know how long that's been in this queue now. Oh. Well, no one's jumped in front of me yet. I wonder if we'll experience the what I did, what I explained before the, um, the jumping. The left lane jumping into the right side. It happens, it happens all the time. And you have to remain calm. What's this guy doing? Why is everyone going round? It's a bit bizarre. going to go anyway aren't you yeah prick that's another thing ignorance oh. calm calm david calm yeah pont de pritz this is the bridge over the Mayen. Mayen's looking muddy. Oh, it's crazy traffic. Now what's um Oh, another thing here, the roundabouts all seem to be slippy in the wet. Um, get a lot of wheel spin and slide. So, the roads in general are pretty good. Can't beat the roads. 
main highways are quite good. It's just when you get into some of the old towns, um, where the local council has to manage the road network in the towns and they can't afford to keep them up to scratch. Out of town it's the, um, it's the government, but in town it's the local council, local government, whatever you want to call it. That's another thing, being a Brit in France, you, you, um, you miss the cat's eyes, because there are none. Cat's eyes, what, what I mean, are the little mirrors you get in the middle of the road that identify lane separation in the UK. You don't have any in France, and on the uh, some of the highways, if, if it's foggy or something, or it's raining, or it's at night time especially, you can't see the centre of the road. And it's quite off-putting. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, it's Wednesday. Busy. So this is Shanghai. Very popular, um, very cosmopolitan. It's a, bit, a very sought after to um, live because you're only a stone's throw from uh, Laval. This could be a video all on its own. I might just shove it up there. See what you think. Let me know. And if, um, if you're interested in driving conversation, then give me a thumbs up. If not, put a comment. drop some rubbish off right I'll catch you later I'll update you soon